looking very relaxed, Dorian. Have you changed your mind about leaving the Outer Ring? <laughs> You're right on time. Sorry, but you've got it backwards. I'm going off to find myself, and Caesar's on my side. What? Caesar, what's going on? Even if you two have always been close, how can you enable him on something this significant? Didn't you just say I had reason to be worried? Uh, really, and I've always trusted you like a sister. Wait a second, Casa. It's not what you think. Caesar, you said you weren't looking for me because of my sister. Was that a lie? So you were spying for my sister? How could you do this? I trusted you like family. That's why I confided in you. Caesar, ignore this brat. Who are you really going to help? I came to you first. <sighs> Come on. You'll help me, won't you, Caesar? You clearly think I'm right. Uh, how did things turn out like this? Caesar went against Big Daddy's word by doing the Tour de Inferno, but he never stopped her. She did it for the old oil field. Not like you. You're turning your back on our Outer Ring ancestral tradition. The Outer Ring is a free land. Everyone can choose whether they want to stay or go. I'm mature enough to know what I want. Mature? Huh. You can't even hold down a job for more than three months, and you haven't saved a Denny in years. You call that mature? We can talk about this again when you're as reliable as Caesar. How I spend my money is my own business. Besides, last week Caesar and Lucy went at it three times over whether carrots or celery are worse. She's not that perfect either. Wow, you two are so mature. Huh? Now's not the time for sarcasm. All right, Casa, Dorian, I think I'm starting to get the picture here. Casa, Dorian's right. The Outer Ring is a free land, and everyone is entitled to the life they choose to lead. You don't want Dorian to leave because you're worried. But there's also a part of you that doesn't want him leaving because that's different to what you want, right? He's my only brother. And now that Blazewood is starting to make progress, we need someone with his ether aptitude to help out around here. Blazewood still has us, right? If we put all the responsibility on the kids, wouldn't that make me a pretty useless acting overlord? See? Even Caesar agrees. So you should let me go. Don't be so smug, Dorian. When you had me speak for you before, you never brought up switching jobs or your salary. It's easy to just talk about it. Uh, that, that's... Caesar, I'm sorry. I know I wasn't good enough before, but I need a chance to prove myself. With my sister constantly watching over me, I'll always be nothing but a disappointment to her. Say what you want. I'm still not going to let you go and work in the funnest quarter hollow. Hmm, that's a problem. Caesar, come here a sec. I just thought of something. You said Leaps and Bounds was going to build a freight station in the Faunus Quarter, right? Oh, yeah. How could I forget about that? Dorian, Casa, I have an idea. Leaps and Bounds has been transporting construction materials from the Outer Ring to the Faunus Quarter lately. And the freight station is in need of some extra hands. Let Dorian work there, and he'll be able to access everything he wants to in Faunus Quarter without getting involved in any dangerous work. Really? That's awesome! Don't get too excited now. Doing business with the city is much harder than being at the sorting plant, and we're pretty strict. But if you can stick it out, Casa probably won't stop you from going wherever you want next. If that's the case... All right, I accept Caesar's idea. Who would have thought that handling a sibling dispute would be harder than fighting 10 lighters at once? When you put it like that, it makes lighters sound really weak. What? No way! Lighters as tough as they come. I was just completely confounded by those two. We managed to solve the issue thanks to you, Proxy. The idea of using the freight station got both of them to agree to the terms. And I also found the help I needed. I think the more important thing is that you uncovered the hidden truth, which made both of them willing to take a step back. How very perceptive of you, Caesar. I'm not that observant. 
It's probably because similar things have happened to me. Big Daddy stopped me from going on the tour d'Inferno because he wanted me to take a little more time to prepare. He was right, and I was totally naive about my responsibilities at the time. But the truth is, you have to experience things for yourself. The rest of it is up to Dorian. Ugh, we've been talking so long that I'm getting hungry. Proxy, are you hungry? Let's go. I'll treat you to something nice. Speaking of which, I just thought of something. Is it carrots you hate or celery? How do you still remember that? If you ask me, they're both terrible. <laughs>